Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and this is Astroneer. Now it recently came out as a full release uh, last week or so, uh, early February. And uh, well, we're just about to descend down here onto a very cutesy looking atmospheric world in our escape capsule. And I know some of these graphics perhaps might not be uh, what everyone is uh, particularly interested in, but for me it perfectly uh, sums up this game, which is a survival game based in space. And we can see our little dude here in the escape capsule. Now we're going to jump out and start our uh, survival journey around this planet. We've got something uh, quite interesting over there. We may be able to go over and salvage something. Now I haven't played this game for a long time. Like I say, it was in early access for around two years or so. I played it extensively in 2017. I've got a whole load of videos on it. Let's jump out. But I haven't played it for at least a year or so. And it's very, very different to the last time. Uh, I played it, I can tell you. I think we kept our uh, spaceship the last time I played this. So we got our uh, base here. And uh, there's our habitat, a shelter. And over here is a landing pad. Uh, we've got various other things around, various resources we can gather. Uh, I did see some compound, which is some stuff I'm going to need. Yeah, over there, some compound. We are going to need that. Now, on the back, very important, on the back of his backpack here, you've got a blue bar. That's the guy's oxygen. That actually runs out when you move a certain distance away from your habitat here. It does deplete, and when it depletes fully, then you actually die. But keep within a certain range of your base, and you're fine. You should remain tethered. Let's go over here to the landing platform and initiate the uh, deployment of our starter package. There we go. They just appeared there out of sight because it was occluded by the uh, panel there. Now these, like I say, these are our starter packages. We've got a starting platform. We can place these pretty much uh, wherever we like. We're going to put it round here, I think. They do need to be within range of the habitat, within, within reason, because as you'll see in just a moment, we need to connect it via power cables. It looks like it's going to deploy around the other way based on that red arrow. Let's Place that down there, and we can actually uh, connect it up here with a power cable, which will give it uh, the needed power. What else we got over here? We got a, uh, a 3D printer. Everything in the game is manufactured from uh, the 3D printer here, or various different types of 3D printers. I think there's different size ones. We can deploy this by holding down F, and away we go. We can actually interact with that, I think. There we go. So we can, a large platform, a research chamber, a large printer. Uh, so we use the printer to create a new printer by the looks of it. And this tells us the components that we need, but we don't need to worry about that right now. And last, most importantly, is our oxygen, oxygen, oxygenator, oxygenator. Yes, that. <laughs> right now, the one thing that the one th I'll show you. The one thing that I got confused over here, and I have played it for a few minutes, but nothing beyond that. We've got some uh, compound here, which is what we're going to need. As we uh, click this, you can see it appearing on the back of our uh, backpack. So, again, now your little tool here, your terrain tool, is with the E key. And it allows us to go and collect various different resources here. And looks like I'm collecting um, organic matter as well here as... Uh, compound. We've got to keep an eye on our oxygen, of course, because otherwise we're going to die. Oh, look, we got a, a buggy over here, which has been... Has it been damaged? Doesn't look in a good shape, does it? Let's go back and get some oxygen. So, yeah, these different resources that I'm collecting right now, we can use as resources on the uh, printing platform to be able to construct stuff for us. Uh... There should be some more compound around here, hopefully. I don't think we've still got... I don't know what's going on here. I keep picking up all the um, organic material, and I'm, am I losing the compound by doing it? Because without compound, we can't actually do anything. Maybe there's some more compound around here somewhere. Okay, so here's some more compound. Hopefully, uh, we can actually get enough here this time, but we're still... Annoyingly, getting all this uh, organic matter, which I really don't want. I want the uh, compound. No, no more organic matter. We want compound. There we go, is a little bit. 
There we go, at last we got some uh, compound. Let's see if we can get a bit more before we end up running out of oxygen here. We might have to uh, come back. Let's run. Where's the habitat? Oh no, are we going to uh, make it back in time? If the guy runs out of oxygen, we will actually die. Although we will respawn, so it wouldn't be uh, terrible. Right, here's a thing that I actually wanted to show you. Now that we've got the auction, we click on the backpack, and all we need to do is make some tethers, which will allow us to freely roam the world that much easier. Now, the backpack can uh, 3D print these. You get a little pack of tethers that will appear up the top here. There we go, we've got a tether bundle. And we can place these down. And what they should do, you can see it link into the habitat. Now, the habitat provides... Uh, Unlimited power and it provides oxygen, but uh, the thing I was having trouble with early on is that you can't deploy these tethers. Why on earth not? Why can't we deploy the tethers? Well, it turns out that you need to put the oxygenator into the uh, habitat here. Now look, now they actually uh, connect. So we're going to put these out in this direction because there was some more uh, compound. We get a bunch of uh, tethers here. So we put that one down, press T, we can place another one, and so on. We can keep doing this as far as we uh, like. There's that hole that I actually dug. And we go over to that uh, little wreck in a minute over there and see what's actually in there. So yeah, like I say, this is a survival game. It's all about building uh, bases and exploring the world around us and building ever impressively in, uh, bases and whatnot. It is a multiplayer game. I've never actually tried the multiplayer aspect of it. And as you can see, there is uh, cave systems here as well. I thought this was the hole that I actually dug with a compound. Where's that hole with a compound then? So cave systems give us... It's over, just over here. Cave systems give us a whole lot of uh, stuff to explore as well. I'm going to need to be a little bit careful because uh, chances are, this close to a cave, we may end up digging down into that cave. It's provide some tethers here. It's a good idea to try and place them to their maximum uh, length as well if you can because uh, it allows you to cover uh, greater distances. There's one more I think should do it there. Now you can pick these back up and uh, use them elsewhere. Let's, let's head down here and get a bit more compound because we're going to need this. I have a feeling that if I dig too deep we're going to end up finding a bell log. Now, I think if we dig too deep, we're going to end up uh, potentially going into that cave system that's below us. So we're going to need to be a little bit uh, careful here. Yeah, we need to create a slope now to get us back out. There's loads of this stuff down here. So don't, don't just go what's on the surface. Uh, generally, if there's a little bit of compound on the surface, it means that there's a whole heck of a lot uh, below now we need to try and get out of here in time, don't we? We're going to run out of oxygen otherwise. I can't actually see my way out. Don't dig yourself into a hole so deep that you can't get back out again. How about that? As a tip. Are we going to make this out? I guess we'll find out any time soon. Now I have a feeling we're not going to make it out. I haven't even seen my way out. Now if you die, it's not too much of a problem. What we'll do is we'll see exactly what happens here. At least at this stage of the game, it's not too much of a problem. Basically what will happen is that uh, you drop your backpack and then you can uh, come and retrieve it. Let's try and dig out as much of this as we can before we actually die. And there we go. I did end up digging too deeply and too greedily. Don't do it. Don't do it! Let's head on back to the uh, to the hole. Now, I don't know if this is meant to be the same guy, respawned, recreated, or whether it's meant to be another guy. Uh, as far as I know, there's no skills or anything like that on here, so uh, you only ultimately ever lose what you were holding at the time. And even that, you can 
uh, get back again. Whoa. Well, it turns out we're actually... Right, now, if we look here on the keys, there's actually ways of raising the train as well, I do believe. Uh, add. Train add modifier. Left alt or left control. So we can actually, I believe... Oh no, perhaps we haven't got the ability to do that yet. So where's that backpack? There it is. We got it. Was it gone? Oh, we got hold of it there. Right, this. I don't know if we can jump with this. We're gonna end up dying again, aren't we? Let's get ourselves back up, more importantly. Right, and build another tether down here. So, I'm, I'm very much making a big uh, hash of this. This is not what you want to do. So, like I say, don't dig too deeply, because it will uh, cause you immense problems. I just spent a bunch of time trying to uh, dig myself back out of that, and going through a few uh, lives as well. Hardly the optimal way of uh, dealing with these things. But you never, never know, no matter, we're actually out of here now. So we're going to go over and have a look at the, uh, the base over here. Maybe there's something worthwhile there. Uh, we haven't got many tethers left, but we've got a bit of compound so we can uh, build some more. So once tethers aren't an infinite resource as such, you can keep rebuilding them. Alright, have we got anything interesting around here? Sometimes stuff is buried around these uh, bases, or these uh, locations, so it's worth having a look at like that. Other times, there's not much around here at all. Right, here we go. Oh, that's alright. Let's plug it into the back of our uh, pack here. We've actually got some uh, interesting components here. What's this? Oh yeah, look. That's a uh, cabin. We're going to need that sooner or later. So let's head back to our base now. Carrying this is uh, pretty heavy. It slows the dude down. I don't know how he's uh, carrying it like this. But the point is you can carry stuff, which isn't uh, too bad overall. Right, we've made a bit of a mess over at that side with big massive holes and I'll uh, perhaps show you that in a little while. But let's keep this here because we're going to want that for the future. Um, also, we can plug some of this stuff into the little device over here because we may need it in the future. And if we die, it's going to get that bit harder to actually retrieve this stuff. I'm not sure what happens if we uh, leave it laying around. I don't know if it will ultimately uh, vanish or if we'll... I get to keep it, but I guess we'll find out. Right, so what do we want to do next? Well, there's a vehicle over here that looks like it needs repairing. Let's see if we can see that. Junk item too large for salvage process. Right, so what's it saying? We can't actually do anything with it. Can we... What have we got on there? Auction filters. There's that, at least. Can we not take the cabin? We can take another cabin. Let's come back, see if we can get the rest of it as well. Let's put that over there. So, with the oxygen filter, we actually get an extra uh, supply of oxygen. Uh, it looks like we can't actually uh, take anything else here. Unfortunately, it would have been pretty neat, wouldn't it, to see how this actually having to build our own vehicle. But that's the next thing we're going to do. Let's build a vehicle because it makes exploring a little bit easier. Assuming, of course, we can build a vehicle. Right, large platform, research chamber, large printer. Which one do we need? Let's build a large printer because we've got the uh, resources to do it. 
And also, it's nice to have a little uh, light as well on our uh, backpack. We can generate a working light, which I'll uh, create in just a bit. But it probably uses up some energy here. We can see that manufacturing. Let's actually see if we can create that now. No, it's on here. We've got another uh, menu here, which we can cycle through different things. Uh, where is it? There should be a working light here. I don't know if we can construct that, though, yet, can we? Maybe not. There we go, work line output. Well, we need some resources in order to get that. But our larger printer is nearly done. Thankfully. Let's go and put this somewhere. And uh, we'll just build the basic uh, units that we can build here. Now you can link these together. You can see there's a... Uh, Power cable here, we can actually link one to the other. Let's just make sure we position it correctly. Not that it matters, because anything you do at position, you can replace or place down later. That won't fit on there yet. Let's get rid of these. Will it fit on there now? No. Too big. I guess that was a mistake printing that one. What else have we got on here? That large printer, large platform. Oh, we need the large platform for the large printer and a research chamber. Right. So we need to go get a bit more... Uh, well, actually, not more compound. We need resin which is something uh, different. Now, resin is yellow-coloured, uh, little nodules that you can see dotted around here, and uh, we're going to see if we can find them. Let's go get these uh, tethers back first, though, because they're always handy. I'm not going to bow down the hole of death again, because I have trouble getting back out. Unfortunately, though, there's loads of resin down there. Not resin, but compound. Let's see if we can find some resin anyway. Now, the day-night cycle on this game is very, very fast. As you can see by the uh, rising of the... What's that? Is that a moon? Is that another planet? Certainly flashing well, whatever it is. We're going to see, do a bit of exploring and see if we can find that compound. Now, this is why I would like to build a car, because it makes this a whole lot easier, much, much more smoother process. And don't get me wrong, I don't know if uh, that's the optimal way to actually go about building things. Oh, look, here we go. There's absolutely loads of uh, compound over here after... All that effort trying to get it out of the ground earlier. Oh, and some resin as well. So there we go. Nice. Don't dig too deeply. At least I'm not going to yet because I'll get myself trapped again. I'm a bit, uh, a bit silly like that. Let's go build some tethers over in this direction, I think. We should just be able to make it back there. So you get a nice little beam and a marker telling you where you've got to go. Back to your base. Which does make it a bit easier to uh, to not get lost. So over this way we go. So the resin and the uh, compound. The idea is to get the bits enough to build the larger platform. Looks like another cave system down there, doesn't it? Potentially. We're going to need some more tethers, though. A small generator, small printer, tether bundle. Let's go. So, yeah, it's not pretty handy having a portable 3D printer like this, isn't it? Especially one that works as fast as that.
Where is it? Over there. Let's not get ourselves lost this time. I think you get a pack of 12 uh, tethers, in case you're wondering. Right, there we go. So that makes it a little bit easier to pick up all this stuff. Now, our backpack is nearly full anyway. We've got plenty of stuff on now. I think we needed two units of resin. So we've nearly got that. But whilst we're here, let's just fill it right up. We full? Not quite. There we go. That's plenty. Right. Now we'll leave the tethers here as well because we will want to come back to this area simply because it's absolutely chock full of resources and it's unfortunate I didn't see them at first because I would have saved myself a lot of time with the... Uh, trying to dig myself out of that big hole. I went down a few times to try and... Uh, in my backpack, but there we go. Right. So we want a large platform. We got enough for that, fortunately. Go. And it's nice to see how your uh, goodies automatically, your materials automatically go from your backpack onto the uh, printer, onto the printer, giving you, saving you hassle of having to uh, fit them in yourself. And you can actually see it disappearing down as it's being used being consumed nice touch there we go so a larger platform we put it next to the medium one. Let's move the printer out of the way for the moment. Let's just throw it down. And we deploy this right here. Okay, it looks like it unfolds into the same direction. Let's plug it in. Put this one on top. And let's see what we can build here. Alright, we can build a shelter. We certainly, certainly don't need a shelter. That's all we can build at the moment. Wow. So I guess uh, we should have gone for a research chamber, shouldn't we, right at the start? Looks like we got enough anyway for that. Just as well. I like the little safety uh, flip to prevent us from accidentally uh, constructing stuff. We can't actually switch between that why it's active. Okay, so research chamber, of course, allows us to research new technology, stuff that we don't currently have the uh, ability to construct, and... The base area here is very, very messy, but no problem. We can clear this up as we go and get it looking a little bit neater. For now, though, it's not about organising. It's just about oh, getting the basics together, and we'll go from there and get everything sorted and everything straight. I don't think we can actually do anything with this now, can we? Recycle extent... Start our package. Oh, we don't want to recycle our package. Thank you. Okay, so... Right, here's the... Uh, nope, there's a backpack. Let's deploy the... Research chamber. Now, surely this needs power, does it? Or does this also need... Does this also need a platform? No, it doesn't seem to. Place an item in the chamber. Oh, wow, an item to research, I guess. Okay, well... See what happens if we put that in the chamber then. Can we? No? I'm kind of curious why the research chamber doesn't actually need uh, 
power. Ah, uh, I see. I remember. Right, the research chamber basically allows us uh, to create the plans on how to construct these things. So uh, we place like an item like this, not this specific one because that's not the right thing, but we place an item that we've discovered into the research chamber and it will give us the blueprint that will allow us to manufacture things. So basically what that means is that we need to go out exploring a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, so far we've landed, we've got our habitat We've got our printers all ready and waiting to go so we can start building things and we now need to go out and explore the world to find things that we can research in order to allow us to create more of them. I think that is pretty much where we're at at the moment. Let's just have a look right here. There's nothing else for us to do with that. So yeah, I think that is where we'll leave it right now. Uh, not... <laughs> Not the optimal place to leave it. I think we're at a bit of an impasse. A new video is going to be the best way to go. So this is the first episode of Astroneer. There's going to be plenty more uh, where this has come from. So do keep an eye out for them. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time.